Hello my dear students a very good morning to all of you welcome to the online session of computers in the previous class we have already finished about the print command so now let us see the examples how to use the print command example number 1 is you can see that a cls command is used to clear the screen then rm which is used to print a comment or a remark that without any data or variable so this will not be displayed in the output because it is just as in comment or remark then print print blank line left so what will get printed using this print command only this line will get printed blank line left okay so let us see the output here can you see the output that only one line is printed that is blank line left okay so this is a simple example of using the print command let us move to the second example again cls command to clear the screen rem command to has a remark or used as a comment then print 1245 and print today is monday so what will get printed only this number 1245 and today is monday will get printed so this both the line will get printed because here you can see that the print command is used so let us see the output as i have told you that 1245 and today is monday so these two lines are printed this is the second simple example of print command now a comma is used to print the output in different zones of the line please remember it whenever you are using the comma it will print the output in the different zones of line let us see the another program so here you can see that one do and learn activity is given to you that write a program to print the name of the victim okay so how it will get printed cls command as we have seen in the previous program the same program is repeated here rem print comma used to display print 12 14 and print today is monday as we have seen that now you want to print an output in the different zones leaving some space so here you can see that in the previous program the comma was not there but here in this program we have used a comma so can you see a comma is used to separate or to make a zones in the line so using this you can see that the output will be displayed like this today is monday 12 then space and 45 okay so this is how a comma is used in the print command to separate the lines next command is end command the end command is generally included at the end of the program it tells the interpreter that the end of the program has been reached so it should stop interpreting the statements okay so the end command is always used in the end of the program to make the interpreter know that now already the program is finished so you should stop interpreting the programs or the statement so the syntax of end is end and you can see that again cls command rem command print first line print program complete and end so at the last end is used to end the program so the two lines will be get printed first is print line and second is program complete after that the program implementation will be stopped try this example and see the result program 2 program to accept two numbers and then multiply them so here one program is given that first you have to accept two numbers and then you have to multiply it so the remark is given regarding to the program that you have to accept two numbers and then you have to multiply them cls for clearing the screen input is used to take the input from the user enter the number and n1 will take the input from the user for example if the user is typing 5 then the n1 will store the 5 then again the input command is used to take the input from the user enter a number n2 so here you can see that the n2 will again take the input from the user for example in n1 the student or the user is typing 5 in n2 he or she is typing 10 then in the n1 5 will be stored and in the n2 10 will be stored then let which is used to calculate the result result is equal to n1 into n2 so 5 into 10 the result will be 50 now they will print that what is the output and how it will display so first print n1 then asterisk sign which is used to show the multiplication sign then n2 and finally the result and is used to end the program so let us see an output so here again the same program is repeated and the output will be shown here so let us see the output first enter the number so a person is entering 12 second enter the number the user is entering 23 so here they will display that 
into 23 is equal to the answer okay so this is how you can do a program for multiplication division every arithmetic operations can be performed using this same okay so the difference is only you have to change the sign instead of the multiplication sign or asterisk sign you can use the plus minus or division sign okay so the program will be the same next program is write a program to accept the radius of a circle and calculates its area okay so the second program is to calculate the area of the circle so you all know the formula of area so what is the formula of area area is equal to 3.14 into radius into radian so that 3.14 is, is also called as pi so pi into r into r so let us see the program first an rem command is used to give a comment then cls command input it means we are taking the radius from the user enter the radius and radius now a formula is given let area is equal to 3.14 into radius into radius now finally we are printing the result area of the circle so whatever will be printed or will be written in the double quotation mark will be displayed the same so here in the double quotation mark we are writing area of circle so this area of circle will be displayed same way in the output also and instead of this area this area output will be displayed okay so what we are calculating here will be displayed here why because it is not result or written in the double quotation marks so whatever we are writing in the double quotation marks will be get printed the same way why the things which are not written in the double quotation mark will be the result of the calculation so here the same will get printed but here instead of the area the calculation what we have done here the result will get printed okay so let us see the output so students can you see here the output is there so first the user is giving the radius that is 12 so finally here the calculation is done that is 3 in 3.14 into 12 into 12 so finally the area of circle is given in the same way and here the calculation is displayed so this is the second program to calculate the area of circle now the different statements are used so here we have studied about the print command its example and end command now how you can use an if then else condition in a statement or in q basic so let us see that this statement test a particular condition and written the answer has true or false if the condition is true then the computer will follow the command given after then if the condition is false then computer will altogether ignore the command after then and move to the next line okay so if else condition is used to check a condition that whether the answer is true or false if the condition is true then only it will get into the if then statement and it will give the command it will follow the instructions which are given after the then statement if the condition is false then altogether everything will be ignored and directly it will be moved to the next line so the statement is used when a decision is to be made so let us see the syntax if condition then command example input enter your age so here the user will enter their age then if age less than 18 if means the person is less than 18 and then what will get printed not eligible to vote the person is not eligible to vote and then the end command ok so this is how you can use a if then condition in your program this program on the execution will return different answers for different values entered in the variable age for age less than 18 the answer will be not eligible to vote but for age greater than 18 no message will be displayed and the program will end ok so if the person have entered 16 or 15 then only the message will be displayed that not eligible to vote but if the person have entered the age more than 18 it means if the person have entered 22 25 30 then no message will be displayed directly the program will be end next is if then else statement so have an else if else is used so the if then else statement test a particular condition and ask the computer true or false questions only if the condition is true then a computer will follow the command given after then same in the if then statement but if the condition is false then the computer will altogether ignore the command after then and move to the else part execute the command stated there as we have already seen that if the in the if then statement if the condition is false then it will directly move to the next line because an else statement was not there but here the else statement is there therefore if the condition is false then directly 
it will go to the else part to execute the program no need to move to the next line so let us see the example and the syntax of if then else cls input enter your age again the user is taking the input from the user that is age if age less than 18 then what need to print that not eligible to vote else else print eligible to vote and if and and okay so if the person age is less than 18 then what message will be displayed not eligible to vote but the if the person have entered the age greater than 18 then it will be get printed eligible to vote so here in the else statement we are writing that if the person have entered the age greater than 18 then also one message will be displayed that is a person is eligible to vote finally the and if and and statement is that to end the program in this program the user is required to enter his age if the age entered is less than 18 which means that the condition is true then the computer will go to then statement and accordingly it will print that the person is not eligible to vote but if the age is more than 18 the given condition is false then the computer will go to the else part and it will be displayed that a person is eligible to vote okay so this is how you can use if then and if else else statement if then statement and if then else statement in your queue basic next is repetition construct repetitive constructs allow a specified group of statements to be executed a certain number of times this repetition execution of a group of program statement is known as looping okay so what it means that something you want repeatedly to be printed for example if a person wants to print the number starting from 1 to 10 then it is not needed that the person should print first 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and so on so for that for saving that time the repetition or the looping is required it means continuously the code will get repeated and the number will print in the continuous forms for that you have to use a loop every repetition of the loop is known as iteration iteration means to repeat something over and over again okay so what is the meaning of iteration to repeat something over and over again queue basic offers two type of looping statement first is for next and second is do loop again the do loop is classified into two do while and do until loop first for next loop it is generally used as a counter loop which when you know exactly how many times you need to execute the loop okay so if you counter loop it means countable loop it is called why because if you want to print the numbers from 1 to 10 then you will know that the numbers will get printed up till 10 only it means exactly if you know that how many times you want your loop to be repeated then you have to use for next loop let us see syntax and example syntax is for variable is equal to initial value to the final value it means from 1 to 10 then the statements executed and last next so let us see the example first cls command then for i is equal to 1 to 5 so how many times it will get printed five times from number 1 to number 5 print hello world then next i in the example i is the variable which stores the value the initial value is 1 and the final value is 5 to start with the variable i will hold a value of 1 the program will print hello world and moves on to the next i statement and checks if the variable 1 to 5 okay so this is how you can use a for next loop to repeat it or to repeatedly print something you want if it is not 5 then the program will continue and jump back to the for command increasing the value 1 by 1 it loops until the variable i is 5 printing the hello world 5 times okay so we are using 1 to 5 starting value is 1 ending value is 5 so how many times hello world will get printed 5 times if you are using from 1 to 10 then repetition will take plus 10 times and the hello world will get printed 10 times okay so this is how you can use the for next loop one example and do and one do and learn activity is given i suggest you all to look at this activity if you are having any doubts you can just message or call on the school number and ask next loop is do loop it is a block of commands when the program does not have a loop a certain number of times like in the for next loop it can loop indefinitely okay so as we have seen in the for next loop a condition is given a person knows that how many times he or she wants a loop to be repeated but 
if the person is not knowing if he want to print asterisk sign if he does not know that how many times the asterisk sign or some text should be repeated then he can use a do loop because it can print anything indefinitely without any number or ratio so first the do loop has two forms in cubasic first is do while loop and second is do until loop so let us see the difference between do while and do until loop first do while loop the loop executes until the conditions become false so up till your condition become false it will print while in the do until loop the loop executes until the conditions become true it means up till the conditions become true it will get printed while in the do while loop up till the condition become false it will get printed the syntax is do while condition statements and loop the same syntax is given do until condition statements and loop though this loop a condition is evaluated if the condition is false it jumps to the first statement after the loop otherwise it executes the statements inside the loop and then go back to the step 1 okay so up till a condition is evaluated it means that if the condition is false then it will jump to the first statement after the loop otherwise the statements which are inside the loop will get printed while in the do until loop if the condition is false then the queue basic executes the statement and continues to do until the condition is true okay so the same thing will get repeated up till the condition will be true if the condition is true already from the beginning only then the queue basic jumps the past of the loop and execute the remainder of the program okay so up till the condition will be false the statements will get printed but if the condition from the beginning is true only then nothing will be printed and directly it will execute the remainder or it will show the output of the program okay so this is how you can use here the loop is executed while the value of the count is less than or equal to 10 once the condition is met the loop is terminated okay so if you want to print the number starting from 1 to 10 then it will continuously the loop will be in the progress up till the number will be less than or equal to 10 once the condition will be successful it means once the number gets printed starting from 0 to 10 then the loop will get terminated automatically the above program prints the number from 1 to 10 same way in the do until loop here the loop is executed while the value of the count is not more than 10 less than 10 only it will be printed more than 10 if it will be there then nothing will get printed once a condition is met the loop is terminated the above program prints the numbers from 1 to 9 okay so here you can see that less than or equal to 10 equal to 10 it means from the number 1 to 10 will get printed while in the do until loop more than 10 is not allowed plus equal to is also not allowed so the numbers less than 10 it means the numbers 1 to 9 will only get printed so here we can see that all the numbers from 1 to 10 are printed that's why a do while loop is also called a true loop which loop true loop it works till the given condition does not become false while a do until loop is also called the false loop because it works till the given condition does not become true it means if you want to print the numbers 1 to 10 then you have to keep the conditions that less than 11 then only up till 10 will be printed while using a do while loop you can write number less than or equal to 10 then a 10 will get printed okay so this is the big difference between the do while and the do until loop so here we are finishing our chapter now let us move to the keywords first is alpha numeric or string letters numbers and symbols expressions a combination of constants variables operators that evaluate to get a result next is iteration it means a repetition of the loop then program a program is a set of instructions q basic the full form of q basic is quick beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code what is a statement a command or the instruction syntax is a way of writing a statement variable that is a name to memory location that can hold the program data during execution so this keywords you have to write in your computer not book okay so all the exercises are given you can see that except the differences and the question answers you have to write everything in your textbook so the keywords the differences and the question answers you have to write in your computer not book why other exercises like true false filling the blanks tick the correct this all you have to write in your computer textbook only okay students so here we are finishing our chapter number 3 we will meet in our next period with a new chapter the pdf with all
all the answers i am sharing with you so respectively you have to write it as i have told you in the textbook and in your notebook for now bye bye have a great day ahead